I've also got a few more foot mailbag items here, so uh, we'll work through them and see what we actually have. Okay, this is a knob, one of these multi turn pot things, knobs, so uh, okay, that's pretty exciting. I shall put this to one side because that's for a project. So this thing is. A bunch of cable clip things. So these are seeing screw these onto the surface with a countersunk screw or whatever. And um, then you can run a cable tie through it so you can actually clamp onto things. Um, you can put a cable tie through there and you can you know, tie on whatever you want. Handy for running cables. I'll try and put links in below for these things if I remember to. Let's see what this is. Drop the knife, it's always helpful. Right, I know what this is. Do have a clue here. This is a fake, well, probably fake. It's a well, it's fake. It's it's a copy based on my recent experience with a TS100. I decided to get myself one of these. So uh, it's a I don't know. A, uh, what, how can you describe it? It's a copy of a of a Heiko anyway, but um, it's basically based on a Heiko. Um, one plug, yeah, I can get a bit. Right, um, sponge and a um, disable thing. It's got this look, it's got this blue marker across it. Look, out the packet, it's got this big marker across it. Awesome. Oh, they're not really what that's for. A tip, a really cell phone kit, some solder of some kind, alloy, yeah, what the hell is that? Mm. Um, soldering on stand, tweezers, these always come handy, these are actually similar to ones I've got before, but those come handy, and obviously the actual iron handle itself. So, yep. Quality is not going to be anywhere near the same as a real one, but it's cheap and it's worth a shot. If it blows up, then it's not much loss, is there really? So it takes the same tips as the Heiko's and stuff like that. So yeah, he's got English in there, awesome. So I'll play around with that. You don't need to see that. And I've got this big box right here. This, uh, find out what's in this. If I'm not sure, I've been buying so many things recently from eBay that uh, it's a bit of a mystery to me too. God, it's in there somewhere. Oh, this is going to be messy. I need to sort these beads out. I'll be back. Okay, so I've got some of these peanuts out of the way, so now I can actually get it out. Right. Just there, check the rest of the peanuts, see if there's anything else. No, that's looking good. Right. So, is what it says it is. Um, let's try and get into it. I've got a few Valhalla, well, a couple of Valhalla things on the way. So, I did ask them to package it well, so I don't know, if it's kind of okay. The problem with peanuts is they tend to settle and end up with this sitting on the bottom of the box and the peanuts on top, which is a bit of a thing, but it's bubble wrapped and it is wrapped in cling film, trying to be getting wet and that sort of stuff, so yeah, okay. Not too bad I suppose. So 
So this is a digital power analyzer. If I can get the arm out of the way, here we go. All right, so. That's pretty much what it is. It's not a particularly exciting unit. Um, you can hook up on the back here. I'll probably hook this up to like PowerPoint or something like that. And um, used for testing. Now this needs to be swapped over to 100 and whatever it is, 230 volts. Um, I'm not going to worry about the fuse right now. I might plug it in the power. I've got power right here. Let's, let's do that. Let's plug power right there, like that. Look at that. And we'll power it up and see what happens. Ready for the bang? Okay. Does it work? Oh, I've got absolutely no idea. I've got nothing to hook up to it right now, so I'm going to have to figure that out later on. But displays work. Seems to be doing something. Guys, we'll see what happens, eh? Those indicators aren't reliable. See that? The um It's not showing reliably. Is it a bad switch or is it a bad control? It shows up when I turn the power off. So that's a little bit interesting. So it's probably got some issues. It was fairly cheap. And it does have a note on the side of it saying transformer. I think it's says transformer. Burn rack. Okay. I don't know. I guess that's maybe the equipment setup it was in. It does feel like this is on backwards though. This cover. Maybe a reason for it. Who knows. Right. So I've got this uh, hooked up to my power supply, which is currently putting out 2.7 volts. And it is doing 2.7 volts. But it didn't seem to like displaying it properly. It was playing around. It's either dirty, the switches are dirty or something like that. was not stable. You can see this the volt indicator doesn't come on. So it's supposed to be AC and DC. I'm, I'm feeding DC in so I'm guessing it's not an issue for that. But um, yeah I don't know. They have issues with that display initially. Originally it wouldn't actually stay stable it, it's just drifting down. Seems better now. So I think it's got some issues still, but uh, oof, probably play around with that later on. Alright, so I started taking the screws out of this, so I might as well video this in case I find something horrible. I haven't actually opened it yet, but we'll find out. I'm guessing the casing is actually on backwards based on how the, this tilting bale was fitting on towards the rear instead of towards the front. So let's find out how this thing comes apart. I think that one's going to come out first, actually. Or is it? Is there something I'm missing here? Doesn't want to come out. The front part's coming out, the back isn't. These labels over it, which I've just broken the seals on. What am I missing here? It feels like I'm missing something. What am I missing here? Doesn't want to come apart for some reason. Sort of 
half there, but not all the way. What am I missing? That's very interesting. So it's sort of that's weird. That side's moving. This side is not. Neither side is working. Here we go. It's that side. Get one side off at least. There'll be something. Wow. This is surprisingly hard to get into. Here we go. Okay. Finally. There's one cover off. Which has stuff attached to it. Of course. Okay, don't know what that is, something. So these are the switches, um, which will need cleaning up. They were definitely playing up a little bit. So they'll need clean, bit of lubricant cleaner in there. I want to pull the other cover off too and see what the top side looks like. If I can get it to cooperate, it'll be good. Um, I'm not quite sure why it doesn't want to cooperate. I'll have to play around with that in a minute. Okay, here we go. I got into the top as well. It's just very sticky. So there's some broken bits of plastic there. Or broken off bits of plastic. Oh look, there they are. So, hmm. Maybe I'll glue it on. Uh, well, let's have a bit of a look around. I'll give them the switches a bit of a clean. They feel a little bit different. So hopefully it resolves that reading error. Uh, so, circuitry wise, well, No idea yet. I've got to figure this whole thing out. I don't see anything obviously bad at first look. Um, also, it's got a few caps in here which I need to check, but there's no signs of leak or bulging. They're looking pretty good. Another one's over there, which also looks fine. So. Uh, it's very interesting. It's got some 74 series stuff in there. A whole bunch of stuff I don't recognise as well. Motor roller parts. I oh, saw Mitsubishi parts. Um, don't recognise those parts either. So yes, it's a uh, bit of a mystery. So we'll see if it goes alright or not. I mean, it was playing up before on voltage, but uh, I think that seemed to sort that out. And the volts and amps, I think this should be going to those switches. Those LEDs there, it's trying to follow it around, it goes down to here, which then disappears through the board. And the other one, they just trying to track around, it goes to that, those pins there, and also tracks up the board, so here. But I'm not seeing anything obviously bad with it. We'll see. It may be a complete waste of money. I don't really don't know yet. But um, yeah, it was fairly cheap, so I thought I'd give it a go and have a play around with it. First things first. Let's glue this piece back on again. How it got broken off in the first place? Who knows? But uh, we'll drop it back in best I can. Probably won't go back in exactly right, but as you'll see, that looks pretty close actually. We'll see if it does anything. Anyway, yeah, that seems to be holding. Cool. So, uh, this all good.
I need to actually get around to reading the manual for this and figuring out how to actually use it. And I'll probably do some more video on it later on.